Uh, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to take a look at growing super hots in the air garden. I've got this uh, air garden bounty. Um, this has been going since around you know, January. I used it to start my seeds for the year and um, just kept this plant going. I think I mislabeled it. Originally it was, uh, I had it labeled as a caramel seven pot, but I believe it's a peach seven pot based on the on the colors I'm getting. Because my caramel seven pot was one from one pod. I mean, the seeds are from one pod, and the other one is growing out true with a caramel shape. But I'm also growing peach seven pots. I think that's what this is. Um, so I wanted to just take a look at a few things. Uh, one is the uh, stem. If I can. So this is about as big as it could possibly grow and still fit in the pot. It's actually starting to push itself up out of the thing a little bit. So it's the trunk is about as um, big as it can get. Here are the uh, roots. And they don't look bad, but it is um, an issue with uh, the pump as it will clog it up. And I've once had to um, take that apart and clean the roots out since so I've been growing this. That's just a general thing, but um, the foliage looks good. Uh, I've been growing, I've been pruning it and chopping it back as you can see. Um, closer there. You can see kind of like the new growth coming out here, some places where I've cut. And I've been giving this, um, feeding this master blend with the calcium nitrate and Epsom salt its entire life. So it's, um, it is drinking fairly, fairly often or fairly, um, it's drinking a good amount. So I um, have to add some middle of the week. And then what I do is I completely change out the nutrients every week because there's like a, a huge pH shift this plant this size drinking out of a gallon size container so it has to be maintained more frequently so what I wanted to to really look at is can the air garden be used to grow super hots and the answer is yes but uh, it's limited on uh, you're not going to get as many pods you're going to get as big a pods um, it's because it's you know a 45 watt LED and this is the bounty and it's besides the farm is the next biggest one and that's got 60 watt LEDs but in the bounty I wouldn't try to grow a super hot anything less than this um, but it's it can certainly do it so um and I think if I had done some better work with maintaining the plant, I probably would have gotten more results. Uh, Kangstar just put out a video on femming technique, femming and pruning. And I think I'm going to try that the next time I grow this. I'll put a link to his video in the description. And I think that would probably keep a more compact plant under the canopy and probably produce more fruits. This one, it tends to grow out from under the light, as you can see here. And this isn't getting the direct light from the hood. It's just getting room light. So, so um, I don't have any you of know, this plants that leaves aren't, oh, not all of the leaves on the plant are getting the hood light. So that's a detriment, I think, to the plant. And, and the limitation with this system is the small area of light, the limited growth space, and the limited size for the roots. Um, all that said, having some fresh super hots in the middle of winter is much appreciated when you don't have anything else growing. So I think there's still, it's still worth doing. Um, so, and the, the air gardens are really nice. I mean, they, uh, the company is good with customer service. Um, I think they're a little, uh, if you're looking just to grow, you could get more bang just by uh, building your own systems. But, but there's a trade off. I mean, all the timers and, for the or the pump and the lights and everything are all built in. They're more aesthetically pleasing, especially if you don't have a lemon foil on them like I do. But um, 
but they, they do work really well. But you could, for the money that you'd spend on one, you could uh, build a much bigger system. Like I'll show you a, a plan in the basement that um, costs way less to set up probably than, uh, actually I don't know, considering the tent and everything, maybe not as much, but, but I'll show you a plan of growing in the basement that's in a five gallon container and has more LED light. But, so yeah, I think, yeah, definitely you can grow super hots. Uh, they even, everybody even sells a ghost pepper uh, seed kit for this. But uh, I haven't grown, I actually have that seed pod kit, but I haven't grown it. But, um, yeah, so this is, uh, so the Aaron Bounty, this is a seven pot peach. And uh, let me show you the plant I've got in the basement of a Bigelokia and a, a Mamma Grow tent. Okay, so this is, the uh, Bigelokia and a 5 gallon DWC. There's a pump on the wall. I've got four LED lights. Let me turn this off. So, yeah, so I've got. I um, can't really show this one handed. I would show you the root. I'll show a pic on the screen of the roots. The roots really go all the way to the bottom. I mean, the whole thing is packed full of roots. I've got it in a uh, cocoa core. Uh, uh, like a chunky core, cocoa core mix, uh, fairly thick trunk on there, and I've got quite a few fruits on this plant. Um, quite a few turning ripe, as you can see, and they're pretty much all over. I really need to to pick this guy down here pretty soon, but. really nice peppers on it. There's a bunch more green all in there. I think it's just pretty much loaded. But yeah, so I've got two 300 watt lights and these are actually around 120, 130 watt actual and then two um, 150. Well, one's rated at 216 and this is 150 but each of these actually draws about uh, 65 watts each, these UFOs. So, um, <clears throat> this grow tent's a 4x4 four four tent, uh, and it's about 6 feet tall, I believe, 6 or 7, I think it's about 6, six and a half feet tall, and uh, so about $100 for the grow tent, not much for the bucket, the pump, really cheap. These lights, um, I think you can get them for about $70, $60, $70. Fifty dollars. You know, it depends on where, what you um, where you get them, and these are probably like forty dollars each. So really, for like probably less than or as much, you know, probably less than what you'd pay for a bounty, you could pretty much get this whole setup. Now there are probably better options on the lights. Um, if I were to, if I could do it over, I'd probably invest in the higher end lights like the HLG. Um, they have like really, uh, they're really super efficient, and um, so you would save money in the long run on um, cost on electricity costs and get more um, more output for your for what it's for what it's consuming so um but these are actually doing fine i've got a fan mounted up here and i've got another one that just kind of oscillates down here kind of blows under and uh, i've been changing the nutrients out once a week it's been getting donna grow not Donna Gray, I'm sorry. Um, Master Blend, same thing that the Air Garden up there is getting. Like a little bit of yellow on some of the leaves. I kind of pick these off. Um, but partly because of the, I think the demand of the plant, it's, um, you know, it's it really sucks the newts up in no time. And, and uh, so. So uh, that causes some shifts in pH and salt. That's why I, I change it out. Like with the bounty, I change this out once a week. Um, I top it up a little bit in the middle of the week with about a gallon, either just fresh water or more nutrients. And um, yeah, it's uh, let me get a better wider shot here. So it's so yeah. You so you you can um, you can do more with less money. In, um, in the air garden, but it's a trade-off. I mean, this is in a basement. I mean, the air gardens are more designed for like countertop appliances in your kitchen, and they look good, and they're everything's kind of built in. I mean, I love air gardens, but um, 
But anyway, I just wanted to share that to you as just an you know an alternative. Um, I'll put some links in the description on where I get some of the stuff. Um, but pretty easily just find it on Amazon or wherever. But um, so I got lots of lots of flowers on here too. Lots more pods will be showing up soon. Um, yeah, this has been a really good producer. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to share that. Um, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.